in like just under 30 minutes. So um, cutting out all those letters was definitely a lot and it breezed through it fairly quickly. Uh, once we had them cut out, we needed to get them attached, but we realized we didn't prep the backers beforehand. So what we did was just sand those down real quick and hit them with an air gun to get them prepped for sanding and get rid of some of the soot from the laser. It's pr probably the easiest way. So I just hit it with a hand sander. I didn't feel like breaking out the orbital and going outside and all that. So hit it with a hand sander, hit it with a little air gun. And then we had it prepped for sanding for, or for staining. For the stain, we ended up using Verathane and we used the early American color. Uh, for some reason, it's one of my wife's favorite colors. So as you can see, we kind of attacked this as a team. I did one, I put it on, she wiped it off, got through it fairly easily. And then we just had to attach the letters. I realized after the fact though, that we didn't actually get any footage of the letters going on. So what we did was use just regular uh, craft glue. Uh, I think we used, um, what's the brand, Art Glitter, um, or maybe it was the other one, but I'm pretty sure it was Art Glitter glue. We use it all the time and then got them done. So I do have some footage of them being done though. And as you can see, even these big signs look kind of small on our walls. So our store is just over 3000 square feet. And we've been consistently adding to the store since we opened in June. And it'll just be nice for our customers to be able to have some signage when they come in to kind of guide them around the store for what they're looking for. So as you can see, we have one sign for tumblers, one sign for our hat section, one sign for special occasions, and one sign for our home decor. And we think it's going to do a lot to really help our customers uh, find their way around the store and just brings a nice little pop of color there. So thanks again for watching, guys. If you have any questions about how we did this or XCS tips or tips with any of the lasers or equipment that we have, feel free to join our Facebook group and also feel free to leave a comment on the video for what you'd like to see.